Whether you're building from scratch or just modifying a kit, the ability to work easily and accurately with scale drawings is essential. The traditional method of working with scale drawings was to have the original plan sized to the scale of the model and work directly from the paper. While having a properly scaled paper plan is nice to have, if I want to easily take off precise measurements, I much prefer to have the plan scanned into the computer. Once the plans have been scanned, they can be easily measured, sectioned, traced, and printed for any number of uses. If the original plans are small, you can scan them yourself on a regular flatbed scanner, or if you have larger plans, they can be easily scanned anywhere that has a large format scanner. I highly recommend saving the scans as high-res PDFs. While nice to have, it's not necessary to have a printed scale, as long as you have at least one known dimension. Once you have the scans, you need suitable software that will allow you to precisely scale and measure. Having tried a number of applications, I've found Corel Draw to be the most powerful, intuitive, and flexible program for working with scale drawings. With Corel open, select a new document. For ease of visibility, enter in a document measurement that is large enough to handle the drawing that you'll be working with. In this case, the final plans will be about twice the size, so I've entered in the appropriate dimensions. Go to Import and locate the file. Double click on the file and accept the default of importing text as curves. Place the PDF in the center of the paper. Using the Magnify tool, enlarge the section of the drawing that contains either the scale or the known dimension. In this case, the drawing has a scale rule. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a box over the scale so that it corresponds to the right and left dimension of the scale. Read the horizontal measurement displayed in the property bar. This means that 3.375 inches equals 40 scale feet on the drawing. Now we need to put our thinking caps on and use a bit of math. First, the 40 feet need to be converted to inches. Then divide the total inches by the desired scale, in this case 70 second scale. This yields the actual dimension that the 40 foot scale should measure if the plans were drawn in 70 second scale. Dividing the desired length by the actual length yields a number that is a factor by which the plans need to be either enlarged or reduced. Going back to the plans, zoom out and select the entire drawing. Read out the overall horizontal dimension from the property bar. Multiply the overall horizontal measurement of the plans by the factor number. The resulting number will be the horizontal dimension of the properly scaled plans. Go back to the property bar and enter the new horizontal dimension. Make sure that the proportion lock is on so that the drawing will be correctly scaled in both horizontal and vertical dimensions. Now it's easy to measure any part of the drawing using the rectangle tool and reading the measurement directly off the property bar. Scan drawings can be sectioned and rearranged to show individual structures and if necessary placed on a standard sized piece of paper so that they can be easily printed out at home. With a minimum of study, you can become proficient at any number of creative ways to use the scanned drawings. While I prefer to use Corel for the handling of these drawings, this sort of thing can be done with some other applications, but in my experience, not nearly as easily.